Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenner. We are back in the lands of Nav Go Bear. Nav Go Bear. Blah, 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 blah. Nav Go Bear. Bear, 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 bear. Last episode, I was flipping my nuts. Flipping my nuts? I was flipping my nuts because, well, Atsa was 105 war score to a next, and that, that just. My mind, it is blown. I could not believe. Because apparently their capital, Atse, this territory was worth more than fifty was worth more than fifty war score. It was just made it impossible to annex that. And I'm like, are you kidding me? But apparently you were not kidding me, game. You were deadly serious. And I'm like, oh shit, the game just got super serial on me. And I'm like, okay, okay, relax. Ooh, Kilwa. Hello, Kilwa. Protectorate of Spain. Fuck that. Ooh, Hedges is friendly. They want to help us fight the Ottomans. Hey, you know what? How about you declare on the Ottomans and I'll join your war? Then it's not a coalition war, is it, Hedges? Yeah. Anywho, we just started the annexation of QQ, Karakoinu. So that'll be nice to get him out of our hair. Uh, all of his territory, unfortunately, has pretty damn high base tax. And it's going to be a real pain for us to convert this shit to the proper religion. But you know what? It'll be worth it. At least some of these... Okay. At least one of these provinces is easy enough to convert. The rest... Not so much. Anywho, we are going to release the vassal Malaya. And I'm questioning, should I do that now or should I wait? I should probably do it now. There's no benefit to waiting because uh, this vassal, Karakoinu, will not annex for three and a half years. So I'm not going to hold on to this land for three and a half years. Let's just release Malaya. Or Malaka, welcome back. Of course, we get overseas expansion against our own vassal. Good times. Uh, let's... Yeah, you're going to go there. You're going to go there. That's fine. Uh, my navy's going to chill. We're sending some troops down here. And the plan with Malacca is they are orthodox as their religion. And their culture is Malayan. So they will buy any land in the Malayan group, which is a large culture group. They'll buy all this land. Uh, as long as it's the right religion. So we don't even have to core this shit. All we have to do is drop some troops off, convert it, and then sell it. And then he'll core it for us. And that's the plan. It might take a long time. That that could be a problem. That could take a long time. I don't know. If it takes a long time, we may just core it ourselves. But I would prefer not to core it myself. Anywho. Anywho. Uh, I was also thinking about annexing Majapahit. He's definitely small enough to be annexed. But, uh, do I really want to? Hmm. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Fuck it. So let's drop off those morons in Lampung, and then we'll uh, work on annexing Majapahit, annex and release, of course. Uh, we need to get relations up with Palatsky boy over here, so we can start annexing him. I thought for sure we had good enough relations to annex Palatsk, but I was wrong. I was deadly wrong. So we're going to have to work on that. Maybe get him a marriage? And we have... Oh, right. Wrong religion. Wait a minute. No, we're republics. Of course republics can't marry. No, he's an... Ad okay, just a God damn it, my brain! We're different kind of republics. My republic can marry. His republic cannot. Hmm, cannot. Uh, let's send him a gift. Probably the easiest way to get in his pants. Mm, 25 ducat Or 25 relations. There you go. And then we annex. And then we annex. This kills the crab. Oh god, there was a there was a gif on on Reddit the other day of Jacques Cousteau petting a crab on the head. Literally petting a crab on the head. And it had the uh, I hope you guys know who Jacques Cousteau is. And it had the caption at the bottom it said Gut Kreb. Instead of good crab, it said Gut Kreb. I just thought that was hilarious. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Dutch Mexico will cede Nootka and Aleut to Spain. Netherlands will end the vassalization of Makassar. So this means the Netherlands is no longer the defender of the Catholic faith. And that, my friends, is glorious. That means I can declare war on Magdeburg right now. And I will. There's no point waiting on this. This is going to draw uh, Bohemia into war, which is fine. 
And hopefully we can get friend. Oh, I need to get another claim on Bohemia. Holy shit, I almost did it. I almost did it. I need to claim on Ober Oberlausitz. Thank you. Niederlausitz is until 1770. Plenty of time. Okay, well, um, I'm glad I did that. Uh, we should, well, oh, all right. We need to start nexting Palatsk first. Okay. Uh, who can I spare? Fabricate claim, support rebels. You know what? Come back from the Ottomans. We can always support rebels a little later. Besides, we already got one group of rebels to spawn. Hopefully, they'll continue their success. Uh, but yeah, we need to um, start annexing Palatsk. Oh shit, we're under attack in Crimea. No! Overseas on Mok Makassar. Good times, good times, good times. Uh, France is certainly ready for a war. He might have some, what do you call it, um, war exhaustion, but he should be ready to go. Ready to rock. Yes, yes. Rebels, rebels, rebels. Don't give me that shit. We got stuff to do, man. What? The Netherlands entered a military alliance with the Ottomans. Are you kidding me? You're not even kidding me. Anyway, annex Polotsk. Why are the Netherlands and the Ottomans in cahoots? Holy shit, 22,000 rebels? What? What? It's actually 24,000. Wow. There's a lot of rebs. That is a lot of rebs. Okay, so we have our... I guess we don't need the 5-5 five five over there. Unless we want to go for Majapahit right now. No, because we won't be able to release them. If we go for Majapahit right now, we won't be able to release them. Alright, so let's see if France wants to help us out here. We have our claim on Magdeburg. Although we don't have to take it, it's just allowing us to declare the war. We're going to make them give that to Brandenburg before we annex Brandenburg. That's the, that's the whole point. And that's going to give us a means to walk back and forth between our territories here. Uh, if we can also get Anjbach somehow, that would be fantastic. But that's going to be... Uh, I guess that's going to be when we declare war on Hungary. Lithuania, Bavaria, the Pope, Siena, and the Netherlands. Yeah, we can declare on Hungary at some point here. Anyway, let's see. France, do you want to join me, my friend? Yes, he does. Look at that. France has no negatives. He's like, fuck yeah, let's go to war. Uh, so this is going to bring in Hesse, Mecklenburg, Trier, Ferrara, and Bohemia. Let's do it. I guess I should have put my troops in certain locations before we did that. Uh, but, eh, whatevs. Whatevs. So, uh, now we can finally get these troops out of this isolated hole over here. Uh, group up some motherfuckers. And where's my 5-6 general? My general badass. Oh, he's on his way over there. Well, where's my 5-5 five, five general? How about you have the 5-5? Five, five? Can I give you the 5-5? Five, five? Where's my fucking 5-5? Five, five? Oh, he's still in Malacca. Get out of there. Look, my friend, you can have the 5-5, five, five, but I require the 5-6. Okay? Yeah. France is in. Bohemia is in, and Bohemia has taken over leadership. This was fully expected. Uh, so who's in the war? Let's take a look. It is just Bohemia. Is anyone else in this war? No? Oh, shit. Um, oh, that's it. Yeah, whatever. Oh, and Retibor. I guess we could take Retibor. That'd be nice. We could walk back and forth up there. Na, 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 na. But we don't have a claim on it, so it'd be kind of expensive to core. And because it's a Polish core, it'd have increased coring costs, so that is a problem. I don't know. We'll think about it. What nations are we annexing? We are annexing Polotsk and Karakoinlu. The Ottomans are selling tulips to the Dutch. Wouldn't it be the other way around? I think the Dutch have a lot more uh, tulips, don't they? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they don't have any more tulips. Anyway, let's slow down time a little bit. Uh, I'm expecting him to attack my vassal over here. So why don't we get some troopy whoopies and uh, go beat him up. Beat him up. Pause. Venice is in the war. Okay. Yeah, France is having no trouble. Uh, it's arriving on the 25th. Uh, 
Oh, that changed his mind. Look at that. He's like, no, I won't attack that. How about if we run over to Rapin? Will that make you go there? No. Okay. Well, I had to ask. All right, we're going to group up here in Vrannenberg. Oh, Bavaria's in the war. Wow, everyone's joining the war. Look at this. Everyone's in the war. Great. I mean, I guess. Doesn't really bother me either way. Uh, let's kill this army. Can we get there in time? No. We are literally at war with the whole empire, aren't we? I mean, yeah, the only people that aren't in this war are the Netherlands and Cologne. That's it. Everyone else in the Empire is in the war. No, Ferrara's not in the war. Really? Ferrara dishonored? Ferrara dishonored their, their call to war. You son of a bitch, Ferrara. What a pussy. What a pussy. Uh, so, yeah, what do we want to do here? We could, like, vassalize Mecklenburg. That might be fun. Yeah, why not? We can vassalize Mecklenburg. Negative uh, 133 aggressive expansion penalty. Ah. He'll get over it. So vassalize Mecklenburg. We can make Bohemia revoke an imperial reform. We can take Anjbach from Bavaria and walk back and forth. Yeah. Or we could just make him release somebody. I don't know. He he has removed so many cores. There's one. Okay, so Hesse can be given some land. Uh, is Hesse in the war? Oh, Hesse's in the war. So we could vassalize Hesse and then feed him land from Bavaria. That'd be nice. But he won't buy Anjbach, will he? No. Shoot. No, he would not. Anjbach, I'll just have to take myself. But yeah, he has converted so much land to, Bav to Bavaria and it's sickening. He, gets, he just gets rid of cores that way. What a joke. What a joke. What a joke. Uh, looks like France is having no trouble down there. So let's go step by step. Uh, siege up what we need to siege up. Civil War in Pegu, okay. Where is that five-star general? Not five-star, he's a... He's a two-star general? No, he's not done yet. Hurry up. Okay, well, men. Okay. Uh, you guys can now come... Oh, we have more rebels. Where did you guys... We have rebels? Oh, that's my only... Okay, those are my only rebels. Kill my rebels and then come back to Karkalpak, or whatever the fuck it's pronounced. Come on, home. Home, home on the home. In the home where the ho 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 home ho 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 home ho 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 home ho 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 home I'm really hoping Brandenburg will siege that province because he has a core on it. That would be ideal. So we don't spend our diplo points on that bullshit. Because we're a little busy with diplo points. We may have to send more troops over here eventually. Bornholm. Let's convert stuff that's not in my religious group. Well, we don't really have much tolerance, do we? We used to have tolerance, and now we don't. Our tolerance has has dwindled. All right, do Azov. That place hates me anyway. Yeah. Fucking revolt risk, man. Yeah, Brennenberg is sieging that. I hope they finish. That's going to be the toughie. Will they actually finish? And I don't know. Uh, let's go sit and repin and split and go down there as well. Finish these sieges, please. Yeah, just keep ignoring Potsdam. Just let them siege it. I approve. Okay, we got our claim on 
Okhotsk. We have one more claim on Spain, but I don't think it's really necessary. We don't have to do that. Uh, let me make sure we have someone locked on France. Don't want to miss out there. Uh, Wurttemberg, that's fine. And there's no battles. Okay. I get the feeling this guy, this 11 stack, is going to go beat up my vassal's army. And I hope that's not the case. Um, what we may do is send our army in and just turn the checkbox on so that he'll stay here. In fact, that's probably what we're going to do. Six, seven. All right, we'll put the check mark on now. And then that should make him stay there. Yeah, good. So he's going to stay there. Yay, the check mark worked. You have to do it just right. Okay, maintain our diplomat in France. Ah, oh, shit. Persia full annexed Balochistan. Wow. Full annexed. You son of a bitch, Persia. Oh, wait. Why am I converting that shit? I need to convert these things. Oh, shit. Why, why did I convert the wrong province? I mean, we just started, right? Yeah, cancel that. Convert these, please. Can I get an advisor for that? I can. Hooray! Oh, that's beautiful. How long will that take now? Uh, two years. Not that bad. I mean, not that great, but not that bad. Pegu's got a peasant's war. That's fun. Kill him! Nice. Good job. Okay, we can take your general out now? Yes. Okay. So what's going on? Uh, France is having no trouble down here. Look at that. France has 100 stack down there. France is scary when he knows what he's doing. Oh, shit. The governor of Iberica has died. Give him a bureaucrat. Iberica. Iberica. dun 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 Holy shit, that's a three-star general. That's a 646. Whoa, that is a real man's general. Wow. 646. Holy balls. Drop off some sieges, and let's make sure we have backup for this Potsdam army. 646. Oh, wow. That is a man's man. Okay, you guys can have the 5-5. Five, five. Uh... Wow. 646. That is crazy. I mean, it's not the best general ever, but that's pretty fucking good. It's a three-star general. He's got all the bonuses. Although he keeps changing his mind on where he's going to go. Holy shit, they're grouping up like 80k guys. Jesus. Oh, no. Oh... I wonder if France would help me. France is sieging something now, but I'm not sure if he would actually help or what. Uh, oh, he has 92 guys over here. Okay, he is going to come help. He's running to heirs. Can he get there before they leave? Uh, he's arriving on the same day that they leave. No, he's going to arrive the day before they leave. Yeah, he's going to arrive in air. Good, good, look at that. Nice. Get him, Francie Pants. Yeah. Francie Pants, Francie Pants. No, 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 Francie Pants. Good job, Francie Pants. You're the man. You're 40. Oh, yeah. France fucking, fucking wrecked them. Easy war or easiest war ever? Nah, not, not, not even close. We have so much shit we still need to do. Can we please finish some of these sieges so I don't have to freak out every time these guys come nearby? Please. Please. Place to be. Hmm. 
No. Oh, he's chasing down Bohemia's army. Oh, we got Lunaberg. Great. Uh, move on to Altmark. Sure. And you guys are going to roll over to Niederlausitz. England left the coalition against us. Wow. Uh, it's been a while since we've been at war with England, hasn't it? My goodness. Have some relations, England. Uh-oh, France might be in over their head down here in Retibor. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 36 versus 80, not the best one to be in France, but whatever, to each their own. All right, Mecklenburg is fallen, move on. Yeah, France is going to lose that one for sure. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, what? What? My vassal has a core here, and he still sieged it for me instead of for himself. That doesn't make any sense at all. God damn it. And yeah, he was sieging it before I got there, so he should have kept the siege going. It shouldn't have gone to me, but I guess the damage is done now. That sucks. I tried so carefully to make it work a certain way, and he still didn't get the siege, despite having a core. Damn it. What's up, Rebels? How y'all doing? Oh my god, they hit like a truck. Since when do Rebels in China fight that hard? Jesus. What in the world? Manchu Patriots, and they fight like madmen. Madmen, I tell you. Madmen. Holy shit, France won this battle. Holy shit. How did you do that, France? Magic. How did he do that? Palazzo will finish annexing in July. Karakoinu will be November, two years from now. So about two years, yeah. What was that? 13 colonies started, started the 13 colony, colonial conquest of Quebec against French Canada. Uh-oh. 13 colonies declared war on French Canada. Yup. St. John's Island? That doesn't look like an island. Well, um, interesting. That's going to be a French-British war for sure. When you make use of the attached command, you take over the siege. Really? I was only standing there to protect his units because there was a large enemy army nearby. And you're saying using the attached command means that I automatically had the siege. That sucks. That is so stupid. How the hell can I protect my vassal's army 
if I don't stand on the same tile with him. And if I don't have the check mark turned on, he will immediately leave the tile and leave the siege to me. So you're saying there's no way for me to let my vassal siege a province while my army is standing there. That sucks. Oh, France is under attack again. Wow, 46 to 23. You gonna hang out there, France? Can you hang in there? It looks like he is gonna hang in there. Holy shit. Now oh, there's more enemies coming. Found a dispute on Joe. Sure, that's fine. I'll take a claim on Joe. Why not? Okay, France is finally gonna lose a battle. Uh, that's pretty terrible for us, but... He is recruiting more troops, so he, he is fully aware of the need to keep this battle going, this war going. Uh, is he at me? Oh, right, I can't click on that. Is he at medium enthusiasm or what? No, he's still at high enthusiasm. So long as he stays at high enthusiasm, uh, that's good for us. I want you to stay at high enthusiasm, France. France. But I am concerned this giant army with a three-star general might start coming up here and beating my, my ass. I don't want that. I'd rather him not beat my ass. Lithuania is improving relations with us? Really? Are you serious, Lithuania? What the actual fuck are you doing, Lithuania? Yeah, he is moving. Oh, looks like he's going to go to Ayrs. All right, if he goes to Ayrs, then I'll help him there. Oh, yeah, France is abandoning the siege. Damn. Uh-oh, he's coming north. Um... Come on over. Force march even. He's going to Oberlausitz. Alright, I'll meet you there, bro. I'll meet you there, bro. Well, let me slow down time again. God, we rolled a zero on the first day. That's not a way to start, dude. And we're way far from teching up. Yeah, he's we're the same tech here. We have equal numbers and we're defending. He has a negative two penalty. And we rolled a zero. Not a good start. Can we force march over there? Please? Can we send in some more troops? Please? You have a good general for me? Uh, the Chinese general, please. This guy. Yeah, Yulian. Yulian! Did you ever know that Yulian, my hero? Get over here, Yulian. You man. Ow, we lost 1,500 guys that day. Are you kidding me? Again, 1,500 guys. What? And now 2,000 guys a day. What? How am I supposed to fight this? We have the exact same discipline, the exact same morale, and the exact same tactics. We're defending across a river in the woods, and we're getting our asses handed to us. What the fuck? Ow! Oh my god! We 
We have an amazing general here. So does he. This is that three-star general he has. Ah, oh, fuck. And rolling a one does not help, Sergey. God damn it. Oh my god, 1,700 troops lost that day. And he's bringing even more troops. So at this point, I might as well just leave. We're out of here. What a horrible, horrible battle. Uh, let's go hang out in Yedison. Retreating to Little Bear. Okay. Horrible battle. My army's got absolutely wrecked. I mean, it doesn't really affect the war score or the war, but it really sucks. France is still building more troops. And France is actually attacking 25 into 76 here. I can't believe this. Yeah, you're not going to win that, France. Not even close. You know what? Just just fucking walk up here. You do that for me? Go this way. Walk up there. And then turn off... No, no, no. Well... Yeah, okay. Lead the force march off. We'll meet up over here in the capital, okay? Because this is silly. Can we finish the siege, maybe? So we can, you know... At least have something to show for our efforts. No, they're going to block me off, aren't they? Uh, looks like yes. Maybe. I don't know. France is coming up this way. That might help. France, are you going to come up here, or should I just delete this army? He is going the wrong way. Damn it, France. 19th. 18th. Oh, perfect. We can actually get out of here. Yay. Alright, you guys have finished retreating. That is a rather large stack of units that is absolutely crippled right now. Um, but you do have a general. I think I'm going to take the general out. Why don't you go hide here in Yiddish Cool? You guys, oh, we can't give you a general because you're busy. You can have a general. Uh, you can have a general. You don't need Force March anymore. Nah, you give it to you. Why not? You got a long walk, walk ahead of you. Oh, shit. No, no, we're going to beat him. I 
think. Can we get out of there? No, there's no way we're gonna get out of there. What about... Hmm. What if we go this way? Would that work? Maybe. So we'll group up these guys. These guys. This guy's toast. And they're going hot stone. They want to fight France. They really, really want to fight France. But I think we're going to deny them any fighting. Let's just GTFO. Hmm. Alright, let's bring in these clowns. Uh, 32 guys. Let's go to Celestia. And you can hit, hide in bells. Just stay close, okay? How are we doing on the annexations? 90% on Palat. Oh shit, we're way over on time. Thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. Sorry for dragging this out for so long. I didn't realize how long we've been playing. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.